Hi, this is Wyatt from Wyatt and Wyatt Films. I am the Mac boy of both of us. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a muzzle flash on Final Cut Pro. I have Final Cut Pro 5. It will work on any Final Cut Pro. Okay, first you need to take your handgun uh, or whatever video you have from your media files, drag it down into your timeline. Okay, so I have my handgun video of my hand. Now, for the effects you're going to need, you're going to need to have effects from detonationfilms.com. Like I had said earlier. Like I had said earlier. Now, I have detonation films saved into my um, top sites because it is one of my favorite websites. Now, once you go to detonation films, you can find the Kapowie shotgun package there. But I already have it um, in my downloads. So I'm going to go to downloads. And it's going to pop up sometime. Um, it's a little slow, sorry. Alright, and now we finally got to downloads. Sorry, uh, computer's running a little slow. Um, my motherboard on my computer died, um, which was a freak accident. And I got a new motherboard put in my computer. And, um, well, when I got that motherboard, the RAM slot was broken. So I only have one gig of RAM right now, which slows my computer down. Okay, now... I got my Kapawi shotgun from Detonation Films. I moved it into my uh, Final Cut Pro um, media file spot. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take, or whatever you call it, browser. I'm going to take, um, you will need to take shotgun side. Drag that down into your clip. First you need to put it in here so you can cut the Detonation Films part. Bring it to the first frame that you see the explosion. Push this arrow and the arrow should be at the end. So you should be able to drag it in, which sorry guys, I messed up. This common mistake sometimes happens. Alright. Now I dragged it into my video. Now, where does my hand come up? Gonna find where my first frame my hand starts to move up. Which would be Sorry, um, not there yet. Move that out of the way. Which would be right there. Now, move your shotgun over there. Now, what you're going to have to do to get your shotgun to, to get your blast to overlay your video. Go to control, which would be, then your click, which would be a right click for Apple. Go to composite mode, go down, and go to screen, which you'll see here your your flash oh, uh, green screen over your video now rotate it to where you want it so that it matches your um, the way your gun or if you're doing your finger shooting there you go now I'm going to render it real fast shouldn't take very long now once this renders um, you have your first shot. You're going to need to move over here. In the Kapawa shotgun uh, mix at Detonation Films, you have a shotgun, um, a shotgun sound, but it works for both guns and shotguns. So you go over here to shotgun fire dot wave, and you will move it down right under where your shotgun shows. All right, you move it down, exact same place. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong. Move it down, right there. Now, you have muzzle flash. Whoa. 
So basically, you turned your hand into a gun. Now that is kind of a rough version on how to um, do the muzzle flash on Final Cut Pro. And thank you for watching.